watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at a really nice budget knife from Marbles. First, let's take a look at the packaging here. We got a, a couple of moose on the top of the box there. And this factory says the office and factory of the Marble Safety Axe Company. Gladstone, Michigan, 1907, and there's Mr. Marbles. On the other side of the box, you've got their slogan here. It says, for every hour in the open marbles. And we're going to be looking at model number MR579. This is Chinese made. Smoky Mountain Knife Works now owns the Marbles brand. And here's what we're going to be looking at. This is a three and three quarter inch marbles white smooth bone work knife, aka Sodbuster Jr. And we've got this all white smooth bone material here. Very nice handle. Very happy with it. Very smooth over. Very well polished. And feels really good in the hand. We've got brass pins holding this guy together and a brass bird's eye pivot. This pin here is just a touch proud. These others I really don't feel. Just a slight bit proud on that. Not enough to hurt your hand or anything, but I can just feel it. We've got brass liners on this guy. Stainless steel springs. And a good look at that. You can see there's virtually no gapping at all. I'm not seeing anything to talk about there. Looks really well constructed. On this side, much the same. And very uh, little color in the smooth bone. There is a small amount of areas here that are a little darker, but not a lot of that black specking that sometimes you get on this particular knife. Pretty well just white all around. But this pin here, again, is like on the other side, just a touch proud. Just do barely feel it. Again, the bird's eye pivot nice looking little pivot there and the blade let's take a look at it looks to be well centered maybe just a touch to the right very very slight and speaking of the blade let's take a closer look so you have a pull of about a six I'd say with a half stop there and then the full open. I'm going to shut up a minute and let you guys have a closer listen. So yeah, very good uh, action on that walk and talk. Very happy with the, the way it sounds. And actual pull strength is good like the shape of this blade. It's not identical to a to a case side buster, but there is quite a bit of similarity. A little bit of a drop point blade, I'd say. Have a look at the uh, tang stamp here. On this side, we've got the model number and then China below it. The MR579. And then on this side, we've got the Marbles logo etched into the tang. A good look at the gr grind on it. One side seems to be a little heavier than the other. See this is lighter grind on that side and a little heavier on this side. But it does seem to be pretty sharp. There's a good look at the nail neck. We've got a match strike pull on it. See the little grooves in it. Overall length of the blade, two and three quarter inches with a cutting edge of two and a half. We've got a 440A stainless blade on this guy. Smoky Mountain Knife Works uh, Rough Riders are the same. And the marbles are also 440A. Many of them. Now they've been stepping that up lately, but this is an older design, so... Yeah, still with the 440A on this one. Again, that overall length of the handle is three and three quarter inches. 
So this is standard size Sodbuster Junior style knife. And uh, for a work knife, uh, I think it's a bit of a step up from the Imperials that I often recommend with the yellow and black handles, the IMP-22 and the IMP-22Y. Those are maybe just slightly uh, less expensive than this one. This one's $9.99. But now you have natural bone materials and 440A stainless steel. So maybe a little bit of a step up from that Imperial. And uh, I always do like natural handles. So there's a good value in this one. It's well made. Um, if you're not wanting to spend case money for a good sod buster, this is a really good alternative. And some of the uh, work knives from Rough Rider have the liner lock. Not a big fan of that on this smaller style, style sod buster, the liner lock ones. Because that tab does get in your way and it's very much a hot spot. But this one, no lock, but no hot spot either. So, kind of nice to have uh, that option. Just your regular style slip joint. But I'm a I'm a fan of this one. Uh, very comfortable in the hand, and you got confidence with that blade. It's not too light that you uh, feel like it's going to fold up on you, and the blade's relatively short. You know, it's a, not a huge threat to do that anyway. I mean, if I really want to, I can close it, but you do have that half stop to save you if you want. But just think it's a very good budget knife. And, you know, this time of year would be making a a really good stocking stuffer for anybody who is a knife lover. Who just wants a simple, basic knife. But that's going to do it for my review, fellas. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. You guys have a fantastic day today. Please do take care.